guys, Kevin Elizabeth and Stacy from The White Flower back again today. Today's video was very highly requested that we do a part two to our bustle series all about ball gowns. So you guys in the comments, so many of you said, I want a really big dress or I already have a really big dress and I would love to see what a bustle would look like. Yep. So today we are going to be starting with this gown. This is Arena by Marquesa Note. And if you guys can hear construction in the background, really sorry, they're like <laughs> demoing a building across the street, but it's just- They wanted to start it. right when we started filming too. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like I turn on the camera and started. <laughs> so Stacey, tell us about bustling this gown. Yep. So with a dress that's plain like this, like how it's not crazy textured or anything, you can do a traditional or you could do a French. Um, I'm more partial to the traditional because you already have these pleats here. Mm. So there would basically be a little like loop through here and then buttons along here. It would all kind of be hidden in the seam and then it would just go and pin up like that. There'll be multiple points so then it doesn't rely solely on this. You want to have multiple buttons and loops because you're going to be partying, drinking, if somebody accidentally steps on your train while you're moving and it breaks this, there goes your bustle and then you have to drag this around. Okay. So you have for sure one up in here mm -hmm. and then some underneath in here as well just to help make sure that it stays up the whole night. Because yeah, when you guys had requested it, I was like, honestly, most of my brides for my photography weddings, mm -hmm. they are usually wearing fitted or like nothing too big. I just don't get a ton of ball gown brides. Yep. So I was like, I, like, have I even seen a bustle on a ball gown lately? And I hadn't. So this is super exciting it's for me really as well. It's really pretty, yeah. And it's still, you still have like the fun fullness in the front and in the back. Yes. <laughs> and we are also gonna show you guys um, another ball gown by Haley Page that's got a lot going on in the skirt, like a lot of layers and whatnot. And then we did wanna throw in one other gown, which is right behind us. It's an all crepe, yep. extremely plain gown. And Stacey's gonna show you the kind of bustle, the only choice that you yep. have with that gown if you've got a super plain dress. So we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the Haley Page and we'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so we are back with a Haley Page dress. Stacey, tell us a little bit about this dress in general. So this is the Tallulah. Mm -hmm. um, Haley Page is kind of known for her fun textured skirts. Yes. So we have the horsehair trim, we have a nice thick one, and then we have a thin one. Mm -hmm. With this kind of texture, you wanna go underneath. So you wanna do the French one, because if you did the traditional, it would lose all of its design <laughs> and it would kind of look like a hot mess. Yeah, not good. <laughs> yeah, so it needs to still hold its beautiful shape. So then there'd be like a tie here, a tie here. Normally, seamstresses try to make it as easy as possible for you guys. So. It varies from seamstress to seamstress, but for Mary, our seamstress at the White Flower, she labels it. So it'll be like one goes to one, and then nice. you tie them together. Because bustles can get a little bit complicated. Yes, I have been asked, <laughs> like before I bought the boutique and learned about bustles, I had so many brides like, can you bustle me? And I'm like, I mean, I wasn't really the one who learned how to do this, yeah. but I can try, and then I get in there and there's all kinds of things going on. So. Like last time we said, make sure that you bring somebody to your appointment so your seamstress can teach them how to bustle. It should be somebody responsible yep. who you know is like not going to be drunk, but like right after a ceremony, mm -hmm. hopefully nobody will be, but somebody who's responsible enough, somebody who can see well. I know sometimes like moms have a hard time yeah. even like buttoning the top of the dress at the beginning of the day, they need glasses. So maybe somebody with good eyesight, nimble fingers and they can do it responsibly and quickly for you. Usually so, it's the yeah. maid of honor. Yeah, yeah. usually maid of honor. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are going to clip this up. Again, it would look a lot better if it's yep. done on alterations. We'll clip it up and we'll show you guys the details of how this is bustled. All right, so this gown is very thrown together bustled yes. here. It would look a lot better when it's professionally done and it's not held up by crazy yes. clips. <laughs> okay, so talk to us about this. Yep, so this is the French one. So then there'll be the multiple points with a dress that has a lot of like the texture, you're going to have a lot of points because you need to make sure that it's even all the way around. Mm -hmm. Like right now, even this is too long mm -hmm. because it needs to be just like sweeping the train. Okay. So this would be all pinned up and then just kind of just plays with the fun, playful texture, flirty feel of the dress. And then with a bustle like this, it's yep. a little bit more complicated because you've got the texture, you've got yep. all this stuff going on. Is this going to generally cost more yeah. than a bustle on like great easy dress? Great question. Um, so it depends on how many points. Okay. Normally, if it's only like 
three points and it's going to cost a lot less than it has like 13 points. Okay. So it kind of just depends on how many layers it is too. Mm -hmm. So if there's like, if you have to pin up the lining and you need to pin up uh, the tool on top, mm -hmm. those are like two separate bustles. Okay. Yep. And then one thing that we'll kind of demonstrate to you guys in our next dress, which is the simple crepe dress that yep. I mentioned, is that um, you guys have to have a bustle. And usually when gowns come into us, they yep. have like a little loop under the train. Sometimes, as Stacey was telling me- That is not yeah, your bustle. Sometimes okay. people think that's the bustle. What that's actually for is to allow us to hang a gown's train off the floor. So this is actually the train. It came with a tiny loop. Sometimes they're a thicker ribbon. Mm -hmm. This lets us hang it. That's what that is for, not for your bustle. Right. This is this is not that. <laughs> the bustle always happens in alterations because it all depends on your shoe height. So they can't have it be pre-made because if you're somebody that's like five foot versus six foot, the bustle is going to be drastically different. Yes, and depending on your shoe height, if you're wearing platforms yep. versus flats, that's yep. really important. And that's one thing that we always tell brides when you come in, for your first fitting, second fitting, you need to have your wedding day shoes with you. Mm -hmm. If you don't have your exact shoes, you need to bring a pair of shoes that is the exact height yep. that you are looking for in your wedding shoe. Because if Mary and for on our team does the alterations to you, say you're five four, you decide to start off with six inch heels. Woo. If she hits that and does the bustle that, then you decide later, oh, I'm gonna wear flats. That's not great. So you have to be yeah. prepared with your shoe height. That's so, one of my like personal pet peeves is like yeah. when brides come in and they have like the amazing like Jimmy Choo like yeah. stilettos and they're like, but I'm gonna switch into flats. But you spend all that money getting it hemmed and bustled to those high heels mm -hmm. and then you like wear flats, then it's dragging all over the floor again. Yes. So what so, was the point? <laughs> if you are planning on doing a shoe change where yep. your heel height is going to be a little bit different, I would maybe suggest changing to more comfortable wedges yes. or going for a platform sneaker so that even if you're going a little shorter, you're not going from four inch, five inch, six inch heels to mm. like zero. Yep. Um, so try to pick something that's still comfortable but is not so dramatic of a change so right. that when you are dancing, which is when you're probably putting on those shoes, <laughs> you're not stepping on your dress on the dance floor. Yep. All right, so mm. we are gonna get this lady off and we are going to show you guys the very simple crepe dress. This dress here is a crepe Martina Liana gown that we recently got and it's really, really sleek and obviously very plain, but still at the same time does have some beautiful detailing mm -hmm. um, in its seams. So this gown can only have one bustle and which one is that? That would be the French one. Reason being, because the dress is so beautifully elegant and simple, if we had the traditional one, there'd be random buttons just chilling on the back of the skirt, which would be really out of place because we have this beautiful line. Yes. So we'd want to do the French one. Any kind of plain dress that doesn't have any design, you want to do the French because it hides all of the hardware. Yes. So what Stacy means by the buttons being on there, the buttons right. would have to already be sewn on your gown to bustle it later, mm -hmm. but for whenever it's not bustled, those would be exposed. And you don't really want that on your dress. Yeah. It would like look like there was like an arrow on yeah, your butt. Yeah, you don't want like butt buttons. Yeah. <laughs> so this would all just go underneath and it would look really beautiful because your buttons will still be all lined up and it just gives a little character and texture to your skirt. Mm -hmm. You have an extremely plain gown where you can't really disguise buttons. You're going yeah. to have to have all the buttons and everything underneath so it's not exposed for the entire day of your portraits basically any picture that you're in, you don't want that on your dress. It's not part of it. You can't hide it in lace or in right. texture or beads. So that's why we've shown you guys this dress. Mm -hmm. And I actually realized somebody commented on our last bustle uh -huh. video saying that they didn't need a bustle because they're gonna have a second dress for their reception. So that is actually <laughs> another scenario other than if you completely hack off your entire train like I did, where you wouldn't need a bustle because you have a totally different dress for your dancing. So like, That was cares? me, I was a diva and I had two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that is a scenario where you wouldn't need them. I love when people wear two dresses. Yeah. I think it's super fun. It doesn't even have to be a long dress. It can nope. be a really fun like mini or midi dress. I've seen lots of brides wear ones where like, the top is plain and the skirt has like feathers and stuff. So every time you're moving, like the gown really shows that. I love that. I yep. think it's super fun. But some people are like, I paid a lot of money for the one dress, so I'm right. gonna stay in it all day. Right. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much the rest of our bustles. 
And if you guys have any other video requests, please mm -hmm. let us know. We mm -hmm. would be happy to film it. And then we are going to be coming back next Tuesday with a video all about bridal gown sizing, yep. how you order your dress, how you pick what size, does it come exactly to your measurements or not. So we are gonna see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.